Joe Budden. A legend. Yes. Joe Budden is a legend of hip-hop music. If you don't know that, that's because you don't know hip-hop music. He's one of the great poets of the last 20 years, one of the great writers of the last 20 years, 25 years. He is the king of introspection of the last 20 years and of all time. He is a podcast host. He did that reality TV trash where he kept wearing jean jackets. He, 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 some reason he wanted to battle hollow, hollow, hollow the dawn. Good Lord. Hit the like button. Uh, he's a world traveler. He got down with Diddy. Puff Daddy. Sean Honeycombs. Is Puffy in the steel bracelets yet? And I want to see the Star Report arrested. I want Troy Terrain. I want him out of here too. I want Lil Boosie in a cell. I want Casanova to stay in that cell. Get rid of all of them. All of them. But anyway, uh, who are we talking about? Uh, uh, Joe Budden, right? Joe Budden is a legend. But why is he so despised? Why is he so disliked? Did you hit the like button? Why is he so disliked? Now, someone might say, well, he always talks about other people. He always has an opinion. Okay, moron, you're the same way. So what's the problem? See, people in the comment section, all they do is contradict themselves. I don't like this person because of this. Okay, but are you doing the same thing? Are you picking and choosing? Because that's what most of these people do. Well, if you talk about someone I don't like, it's okay, and, and I'll laugh with you. But if you talk about someone I worship, because you don't worship the Most High, no, you worship celebrities, oh, well, now it's a problem and you're crying. Joe Budden bombed on Eminem and broke Eminem down to pieces, and he was factual and accurate. And Eminem, as usual, is crying like a biatch, and so is his moronic, dickless fan base. Now, in other times, Joe Budden was kind of doing things and you don't know why. I still kind of don't get his whole feud with Game, Lloyd Banks. I, I kind of, I, I, you know, in that mixtape era, 03, 04, 05, 06, 07, Joe Budden and Game had so many diss songs at each other, and not to mention other people, but Joe Budden, you can't really find an origin story to his beefs with people, for the most part. Is it just he's light-skinned and sensitive? Is it that he's dirty and from New Jersey? I, I don't get... I, I, I never understood the whole G-Unit feud. Now, I did understand the Jay-Z feud because when Joe Budden got to Def Jam Records, he does pump it up. Tremendous sample. Tremendous production by Just Blaze. That was supposed to be his big single to launch him, and it did. But then when you get to the push his album got, the push of his single was good, but the push of his album really wasn't. And then when you get to 04 and 05, 06, this is when Def Jam switches their regime, and all of a sudden jay Z is the president. Wow, Jay-Z don't know how to promote artists? To, to Jay-Z, promoting an artist is, I'm going to give you a verse. He doesn't know how to actually build a label or build an artist. So why they gave Def Jam to Jay-Z and you saw how that worked, it didn't. He ended up getting rid of everybody who was working for a bunch of younger talent who was soulless, like young Jeezy, that garbage. The fake Rick Ross, that garbage. Tierra Marie, that garbage. Great. When Jay-Z became the president, all of a sudden, LL sales dry up. Ghostface and Method Man, they got to get up out of here. Red Man about to get up out of here. The, the, it, it, the shambles. And then at some point, I think Fabulous came over there. What? Wait, was Fabulous always on Def Jam? I don't think he was. I don't think. I don't think he was. I don't think he was. He might have been. I don't think he was though. But um, he was obviously De uh, Desert Storm with DJ Clue. You know. But when Jay Z is there, then Nas gets over there, and Jay Z and Nas working together. That was always awkward. So when Joe Budden seems, he sees that the regime has changed. And he's seeing that, well, the top guy is Jay-Z, so if my project is not working, it must be Jay-Z's fault. And it probably was because Jay-Z does not know how to run a label. This, this, this idea that Jay-Z is so brilliant, that's an agenda. Have you ever watched a Jay-Z interview? He don't know what he's talking about. 
So Jay Z, um, we understood that you had a title as a streaming service, um, but now you 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 sold your shares in it to get out of it, to go invest in more liquor companies. Why did you do this? Oh, you know, uh, you know, it, it was just a great opportunity. You know, it, it was it was a, it was a great opportunity. I can't do a good Jay Z, but he's like, it's a great opportunity for more opportunity. It's like th that's Jay Z's answer. It, it's a great opportunity for more opportunities. He he's mastered the art of talking like a small hat executive. These people don't ever answer questions. Jay Z talks like Lee or Cohen. Talks just like him. One Jay Z don't ever make sense. One minute he's a Christian, the next minute he's a Muslim, the next minute he's a five percenter, the next minute he's God body, the next minute he's saying Lahaim. He don't make no sense. So you put him in a position where you need to make sense, and artists' projects are, are not being uh, supported and promoted, and one of those people was Joe Budden. So then he goes to Jay Z, and they have like this feud thing and then jay-z of course he he has this uh inferiority complex so he thinks he's greater than everyone else so he's he responds by he'll freestyle over your beat he freestyles over pump it up what have you so i don't know if a lot of the joe budden disdain is a bunch of man worshipers who oh we love jay-z and you win it jay-z and we can't get past nothing and oh well we worship eminem because he's a honky and and, and you, you can't you can't uh critique that white man you can talk about Trump and Biden all day, but mention Eminem and somehow you broke the law. You know, uh, maybe that's what it is. It's just a bunch of man worshippers. He went at 50 Cent's crew. He went at Jay-Z. He went at Eminem. Maybe that's what it is because... I don't... I, <sighs> Joe Budden never promoted what those people promoted. He never pr promoted purple pills. He never promoted selling drugs. He never promoted destruction of black people so i i, I don't really understand the, the disdain for joe button now can he be annoying sometimes can he be too loud can he be abrasive yes but it's, it's almost like suge knight it's like this person is just very disliked but for no actual reason now suge knight may have done things but what i'm saying is it's it's more than a, a dislike it's like an abnormal agenda of dislike now, personally, I don't care for Joe Bunn's podcast. I think I watched two episodes in the history of it, and it was like the Pusha T one, and I think the other one was when he when he was uh, telling the truth about Eminem and the Slaughterhouse situation. Uh, I, I never watched the show because he has a whole, you know, this is one thing about Joe Bunn. He has horrible taste in co-hosts. That Rory, that, that, that ginger moron, and then he has some Rock Nation fruitcake who paints his nails. Put a shell in his dome. And then now he has this this uh, streetwalker, Melissa Ford. She's been shot on. And then Queens Flip. Oh, God. Flip Queens. I, I, can't, I cannot listen to his podcast. But um, I prefer if he kept making music. I don't, really, I don't really get why he stopped. It's like he stopped making music in an era where independence is like the key and, and the king. Like he should be, he, he should have been doing albums and records with, with Griselda and, and, and stove god cooks and he a joe button album produced by rock marciano and he should have been doing that like full projects no he's he's podcasting and stealing puff daddy's money i'm not mad at that part uh, well unless he got down behind the scenes but with that said i'm up out of here like share comment subscribe support the channel donate to the cash up in the description and that is it